I still dread all my sufferings, for I know you will not hold me innocent. Since I am already found guilty, why should I struggle in vain? Even if I washed myself with soap and my hands with cleansing powder, you would plunge me into a slime pit so that even my clothes would detest me. I'm writing to you, dear children, because your sins have been forgiven on account of his name. I'm writing to you, fathers, because you know him who is from the beginning. I'm writing to you, young men, because you have overcome the evil one. Do not love the world or anything in the world. If anyone loves the world, love for the Father is not in them. For everything in the world, the lust of the flesh, the lust of the eyes, and the pride of life, comes not from the Father, but from the world. The world and its desires pass away, but whoever does the will of God lives forever. Hello everyone. If you are struggling with sin, then you are closer to God than you actually may think. I'm going to go over Re Revelations 12 verse 10 real briefly. That we're going to get straight into the message of what I want to portray to you today and not waste any time. Satan is often referred to as the accuser. An accuser is a person who claims that someone has committed an offense or done something wrong. In the book of Job, Job himself is accused by the devil saying that, that Job is only a loyal servant to God because of the nice things that God gives him. He is an accuser. Every time that you feel that you're not worthy enough of God's love and forgiveness, that is the devil telling you that. The devil sees that you're trying to get closer to the Lord and he's scared. He is scared of you. There is nothing he can do to you when you have Jesus on your side. There is nothing. That's why the devil wants you to feel like God won't forgive you, that you're just struggling in vain. Your sins have already been paid for by the blood of the lamb. So I say to just change your attitude, change your perspective on things. Don't think that just because you, you sinned and you failed that it's over for you. For though the righteous fall seven times, they rise again. But the wicked stumble when calamity strikes. Get back up. Continue pursuing the Lord. My earthly advice to you would not be enough. Because I myself have not overcome sin. The only man to grace this earth and not sin was our Lord and Savior himself. So what I can tell you is to seek him. The way that I really started to be able to fight sin better and overcome temptation was I really started to get in touch more with the Lord by reading the Bible, praying, spreading his word, going to church. And as you grow with the Lord, it will get harder. The devil will attack you more. The people around you may start acting a little different. It's just what happens. But you just have to embrace it for now. Embrace the struggle. Without struggle, you cannot get stronger. So embrace it, seek the Lord, and you will truly progress into being the best version of yourself with the help of the Lord. God bless.